folks, I am so excited to introduce you to one of my oldest friends. She's a writer, she's a musician, and she uh, she's drinking every day for 40 days. Ladies and gentlemen, Steph Edwards. I wanted to have you on the show because you are doing a project on Tumblr right now uh, wherein you are looking for the perfect cocktail to carry you into your 40s. Tell us about it. Well, I'm, I'm actually going to be 40 in August, so, but I started this a couple years ago. It was really born out of a problem that I had when I went to like a wedding or a chamber of commerce party or like any type of kind of stayed cocktail party, cocktail reception. I didn't have a cocktail to drink. Um, everyone right. else seemed to have, you know, their, their vodka drinks they went to, or a gin drink and tonic. Um, or people will often just have a glass of white wine or red wine. And I'm kind of bored by white wine. And red wine kind of makes me a little crazy. Like, <laughs> like physically crazy or well, mentally, emotionally you know, crazy? I, I think I have like a like an allergic reaction to it. Really. So I kind of almost, almost like hives. So that's, oh, that's um, that's a problem. Yeah, so. And yeah, there's something problem. about carrying around a, a bottle with a napkin wrapped around it while you're in like formal wear. You know, just there's something about it that I, I didn't like. So I wanted a classy, you know, a simple highball. What made you decide to write about it? Well, all of my friends, my, my current friends, were tired of hearing about it. They were like, have you found it yet? Have you found it yet? So it's really just kind of an exercise for me. So. And just solicit feedback from all over the world too. So which I've gotten some great, you know. Responses. Yeah. So people are people are responding to it then. That's yeah, good. Definitely. I'm actually surprised how many people have the same conundrum. My go-to is red wine um, because we're out here in California where there's right. terrific wineries and whatever. But immediately my teeth go black. Right. Right. You get the kind of. Yeah. And I, I really, I try not to. Yeah. I try to yeah. inhale it all to the back of the mouth. It doesn't, it doesn't help. I get disgusting black teeth, like I'm playing a hobo <laughs> in, a, in a child's like pageant. It's awful. So yeah, I, I do need to find the next thing, but I don't know what it is yet. What are three surprises? What are, what are, what are Stephanie's three hot drinks for spring? <laughs> not necessarily hot beverages, but you know what I mean. A Paloma, yeah. which is our favorite drink of Mexico. And it is the grapefruit soda yeah. and tequila. It is delicious, it's refreshing, um, and it will knock you on your ass. Thank you very much, Stephanie. If you want to check on her progress, go to 40cubed.com, and you really should do it. It's such a good read. Uh, later on in the week, we have got Austin Salmi, the cartoonist of Simple Moments. we got comedian Jason Nash from the podcast Guys With Feelings. And we got music from People By The Sea. See you later. Thank you.